ladies and gentlemen, and, and welcome, welcome to oh, once again to the, the weekly wave hand. I'm Cal, and I'm Sunny, aka Henry and Henry and Sangita. <laughs> like I was like, oh, we almost got it the first take there, and then you're just like. <laughs> I'm going off script. (laughs) Derailing the campaign is what a Sonny does. Uh, Yes, yes. uh, Uh, You know, I cheated at at Frostgrave once, but we'll talk about that another time. How did you cheat? Remember when I threw the treasure chest over the wall? That's not cheating. Well, yeah, but it it wasn't really... I, I came up with the idea. I came up with the idea and everyone had to look up in the rule book if it could be done. All right. So, let us begin... Tis Calvinone, next Aztec. So this is his progress from the last time he showed us his Aztecs. Yeah, so I do believe he did three before, and I think he's just doing them in batches of three. So good differentiation. You can tell which is which. That's good. I, uh, mm-hmm, yes. Oh, yeah? I think the color scheme is very coherent, but I do think there's a little too much brown, especially for the middle guy. Yeah, well, like, I think also, like, it, it's it's a lot, like, white people shouldn't be wearing tan, you know? Oh, yeah, you know, then, that that was a thing. I never really understood what that was, but, yeah. What do you mean? I, I don't understand the premise of that. Like, what, what is that? Why? Because it's the same as our skin color. But and white is not the same as tan, though. Yes, I said white people. Oh, uh, yeah, never mind. Okay, okay. So I'm saying like if the if the skin tone and the clothing are too similar, like essentially you don't have that level of variation. Yeah, that yeah. And like I think that can really break a color scheme even if it is realistic. Mm. Like I mean there's reason brown was a common color because I mean like the soil animals Yes. Animal hides usually. But yeah, it looks good. I like the uh, colours you've chosen. Green and purple. Classic. Does make them out to be a bit villainous though in uh, colour combination. It, it, yeah, it is a classic colour for villains. But I think the the shades chosen doesn't give it a villainous... See, uh, see like... Ooh, look, see underwear. How, yeah, see how he's... Uh, I, I was going to say the nappy. <laughs> He's got the nappy on. He does on. look a little bit like a nappy, yeah. But, like, if that whole thing was, was white... Was a cream, yeah. yeah I, like, it'd look a lot better. Um, now, of course, this is just personal opinion and such, but I think it really would change the look of it. Oh, but, definitely, yes. I think it just needs that extra level of contrast. Maybe, and definitely the helmet, too. I'm not sure what you would like to do with the helmet, but I think that could... That think, could have something. I think just, uh, you know, a, a dry brush with a uh, warm colour could pick these up quite a bit. Mm. Mm. But yeah, so what has he done well? I think he's done the colour scheme well. It's very what? coherent. All right. What has he done poorly? Uh, I think maybe too much of the same colours. And where can he improve? I think perhaps he could improve in... Um, identifying when things are getting a bit too similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'd, I'd have to agree with all of those. Basically, my thought is, is like you've got good control and like if you've got good control, just do the rest of the uh, loincloth cream and that will really help break up that model. Uh, light, uh, like a dry brush of something like pale sand or, you know... Um, like a bone color, yeah. you know, would really help make them pop quite a bit. Yes. Um, but yeah, other than like, I mean, oh, they're fine. Good. Yeah, yeah they're fine. fine. Yeah. All right, let us move on to the next. And the next is the actual way pan. Ooh. Um, and yeah, I took a, I took a look at this, uh, this one and it seems like what basically it. Yeah. I'm not going to go into it because I'm not going to take too long on everything. But yes, thank you very much for sharing, Steve. Um, it is uh, very, um, very helpful. 
And we're glad to see the feedback because, you know, it really, it really does change things because if you get that feedback, it makes you, it makes you appreciate things that much more. All right. So next up, we've <laughs> got Spectre Studios and you're just like, yes, white ink is good ink. I, uh... I just like the Xenothor Prime. It was so yeah. effective in this particular piece. I don't know. It just looks really good. Sometimes, you know, the Xenothor Prime is nicer than the final outcome. Oh, yeah. That happens sometimes. Yeah, I know. And, and afterwards, you're just like... Why? Well, why did I, why did I ruin my paint job? You know, but it, do you it, want to read out what he yes, said? Yes, yes. Okay. A new project is up and running. So far, it has gone from being a dark angel with lots of dark angel conversions to being clipped, sanded, and reprimed. Oh, reprimed. And has now been appreciated with white ink. It's going from, like... A, a really interesting and flavorful chapter to one of the least flavorful chapters ever. Dark angels. Dark he, angels are the least flavorful. No, he's going to turn him into an ultramarine. Oh, remember? yeah, because I saw they were blue, but I love the blue. I've, blue is my favorite color. All right, so let us... And the reason why we're moving on quickly, Spectre, is because we're going to talk about your stuff a little later on. Mm. All right. And we got Patrick. Le Patrick Cunningham, and, and he says, just contrast a little s slinger unit. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. Yeah, hmm. they're looking good. Um, it looks like you've still got uh, some pooling, yeah. Yeah, pooling issues with your contrast. What I would recommend is probably just getting having like a damp brush. Or just some um, tissues, and what you do is you just touch in the areas where it's pulling right. And the brush or the tissue will reabsorb. The... Yeah, yeah, but like you don't you don't move it about. You just touch it, and then you remove and throw away the tissue. So you mm. can have just little bits of tissue on tweezers or just torn up, and you just touch it there. Gets rid of the greater majority of it, and like. Because there is nothing wrong with contrast. I I like contrast. The only issue I have with contrast is this one thing. It is not beginner friendly like they say that it is. Yeah. Um, but do you want to say what you think he's done well? Uh, I think he's chosen the colors very well. They mm -hmm. pop very nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, what he could improve on is I think I, I think we've seen this with Patrick and. Yeah. Uh, he's a big fan of using contrast paint and I think if he if he wants them to go a level up a notch I think Xenosol priming would really uh, work well with this technique uh, this approach with contrast paint I think that would be a next thing for him I, I, think I know he, he did try once he did try once but I think it went a bit badly for him mm. but you know what like try again my dude see if it see if it helps out because I think when he tried he tried like an all yellow sort of power armored sort of person oh. and see like these are the guys who would benefit from zenithal contrast far more than other ones because of like they've got all of these nice textures yeah whereas yeah. um the power armored guy didn't really have any textures oh i think he didn't uh he wasn't was using a airbrush at the time was he, he was using a the, the manual way of doing rattle like cans a, like with brush was it oh no no, no, no! I'm not sure, but either way, like that, the issue is, is that when you're doing a zenithal on like um, power armor, you either have to be very good at zenithal priming because there's a lot of flat surfaces and a lot of rounded edges, or you know, um, you do it on something like this, mm -hmm. and it just it will take a bit of effort and uh, practice but yeah i think it would i mean i'm just saying it because i see that that's your go-to medium yeah yeah and and like this is the thing we want to help people with their goals mm. not our goals right because that's the thing right if somebody's an expert here and that's one of the things i was worrying about with steven because when i came when i watched his video it was like this he he has it as if the light sources are coming from all around, which kind of makes sense, right? For, um... What, daylight, maybe? No, 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 no. Well, because this person was meant to be from an underhive, I think. 
or I can't. Now I'm having trouble remembering. But anyway, the the idea is right because like I thought that was a solid bit of advice that we could give to Stephen. But the issue is that you know like he's like oh no that's just sort of my sort of style, and see the thing is that oftentimes what we have trouble with is giving advice to some of the people who you know we consider very skilled Mm. and so and i think we also have trouble on the other end you know where people are just trying to churn things out like patrick and see the thing is we want to give advice which is usable for you Mm, yeah you know we don't want to just be like just be like us because like Mm. nobody can be like yeah you or them or us yeah you know you can you can only do what and, you do and we're not making tutorials right we're just we're just we're just giving feedback some ideas suggestions mm. yeah that's all we're doing so yeah i think that's that's something that we could consider mm-hmm. uh yeah uh patrick but yes okay moving on so uh if you could just read this one out and we're gonna move on because he has cages Progress. Finish finished all of these guys up as far as I know. So these are just assembled models as, as far as I can yeah, see. Yeah. So, uh, so I may have been subtle about it, but Shadowpoint <laughs> came out yesterday <laughs> and I was a little excited. <laughs> Release day at Heritage Haven was great fun. Lovely to see so many new faces, to me at least, showing interest in this great game. Now my plan is to run demos this coming weekend at Second Legion, so we'll need to get my core set painted within this week. I will endeavor to post uh, finished pics, but though I'll have time for WIP. It's only 16 minis, so let's see how we go. Models all built up today, so I guess here's a WIP. And, and see, like, that's the thing, my dude. Assembling minis. That's part of it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, so we we will go back to Cage because Cage has finished, finished all, a product, yes. And we will move on. Ooh. But now, um, now I'm it not is time. Sure how to yes, I was about name. to say uh, now is the time for us to uh, once again fail at someone saying someone's name. There are many uh, many umlauts here, so I'm not sure how it is meant. So we'll we'll call La- Laszlo Laszlo Borgos. War. So B- an umlaut is ooh. So Bugus. Uh, Bugus. Bugus. You know what? Let us let us consult the tubes of the youths. Uh, or the or the Google Translate. Uh, uh, so what what does do? How to pronounce Actually you know what we'll, well, I'm gonna get you to cut that part out because uh yeah. That's uh that's always leads to ruin. So we will just we will we'll just, just call you Mr. Laszlo for now. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if we pronounce it. We'll, we'll look we're gonna we'll look it up. We'll later. look it up. The Hexen God uh, Kickstarter city bases are ready. I've done it in two weeks, printing and painting, ready for weekend frost grave game. Next project will be the Hexen God units. Frost Grey. Oh yes, you love uh, that thing that I did. Yeah, the video we did a little promotional video once to get people to play with us, and it's become a internal internal meme. Yes. So this is interesting. I think it's magnetized, but I'm not sure because oh. I think like essentially you put these blocks down, or maybe these blocks are sort of meant to sort of help you stabilize it. Yeah. And then you uh, move the blocks to it, but very much has the sort of feel of Isengard. Now, I don't know if these are WIP... Uh, so, judging by that, they're not WIPs. They're actually... Do- oh, no. Hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Okay. You got them cobblestone. Yes. Yes, he's doing the... The, the different the different coloured bricks and stuff. Mm, mm, mm. So, I think that's it all done up. Okay, okay, great. Well, if this is the case, we can actually give some decent feedback on this one because we've done... We've done a similar, uh, similar project, project with yeah. the, uh, with Dungeons and Lasers. So, with this right here... Um, so, I think you're going for tabletop. 
and you're trying to get things done. My bit of advice would be to find a sort of uh, off, uh, not off white, maybe like a light gray, would you say? A light gray and do a dry brush and a wash over these bricks here, right? Mm. And that will help integrate those colored bricks into the rest of them. Yeah, because right now they just look like bricks that were painted these colors randomly. Yeah, um, what Sunny's trying to say is like they don't feel as if they fit cohesively. Yeah, so um, would you say this is stone, honey? Would you say yeah, it's a stone, stone, right? So, um, yes, there, there are different sort of types of colored stones, so to speak. They come in different shades and different tones. And I think that's what you were trying to do with the red yeah, and the yeah, yellow yeah, and the yeah. whatever. We've done that for the cobblestone as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But the the actual dry brushing and the washing part really helps to make it blend into like different tones of gray rather than just straight color. And uh, it, it makes it feel as if it's a cohesive part, right? And like, so when we say this, right? We're not having a go. We think it looks good, right? Like, the look, having color on a model is always better than not, not having, having any color. color. And it's actually quite interesting, you know, well, like, um, like visual-wise. And see, like, the thing is, right, it only looks like two stages away from finished for us. Mm. Like, because we did something very similar to this with our cobblestone. And so all we did after this is we dry brushed, washed, and then put some pigment powder on. Yeah. And so like with this, if you uh, if you did the same, I think it'd come up amazingly. He has done a wash actually. I can see it on some of them, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure if he'd done a dry brush. He might have. Mm, he might have. I don't think so. I don't think so. But um, so what has he done well? What can he, um, sorry, what has he done well, what has he done poorly, and what can he improve? Those are our three categories, Laszlo, that we, because we try not to blow smoke, and we try to give advice tailored for the person. Yes. I think you chose the colors very nicely. Mm-hmm. I think poorly-wise, yeah, I think it could be. The thing is, I feel like done poorly and can be improved are kind of the same thing a little bit, but... Yeah, okay, yeah. But see, like, yeah. um, maybe yeah. maybe yeah. that's just what we should say instead. Because, like, you know, what have they done well and, and what, what can, can they be... improve? Yeah. So I would say color choice is very, very nice. I think it's a good, good color choices. What can be improved would be to do that extra little step of a dry brush on top to just really bring everything together and I mean look at it from far it looks colorful looks interesting it's eye-catching mm -hmm, mm -hmm. again there's nothing wrong with it but mm -hmm. if we're going for a little bit more on the realistic side mm -hmm. I we would suggest doing that little brush uh, dry brush layer and then another set of wash but we can get at this stage you're kind of done over it you well, know maybe maybe yeah or, it's up to you yeah but I do have to say I really like how he's chosen to photograph yeah and I like the backdrop too yeah like, exactly got, like, that's what I'm city. saying because like uh, I think his backdrop is better than most of our backdrops I mean, we, no one usually bothers with the backdrop but yes yeah. it's it's quite nice but let us move on it's time for more lettuce frost gray speaking uh, of frost gray uh, lance lance has a finished product at the end yep. for this piece but yes wip hope to finish him up this weekend if my memory serves that should be 72 for that year mm. okay so he he's done up later yeah he's done it finished he okay did. all right well we will move on so uh, we hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, you know, it seemed to pop off a little more than usual. And we're hoping that hopefully things will pop off a little more than usual from now on. Because uh, we've been putting a lot of effort into these and we think that they're good. But you guys will be graced with one this Sunday. <gasps> Yay! Except it's going to be shorter than usual. And, yeah. Uh, 
it might, I have a feeling that this topic's going to be a hit. Because mm. the topic is... No, don't say it's a surprise. It's already on the channel. But it's a surprise, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Patrick. Uh, Again, once again, another unit of halfling warriors. All right, let's take a look. Ooh. So I'm just going to see if I can zoom in a bit. See, I feel like this one is better than the other right, just because he's got the uh, chain mail yeah. to break up the contrast paints. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. It looks more neat in this set of... Uh... Yeah, it looks more neat in this one. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, and uh, once again, a wonderful color choice, very cohesive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can tell that it is a team. I think we've got. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we've got aura. So I like the that the shields are different. You know, because that's a sort of classic medieval thing where like people would have different shields representing different areas but like still be within the same squad mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um you know it, it's very sort of quick and dirty but uh i do believe these are all going to be based together and once they're all based together like put on that block mm. i think they'll look a lot better mm. but yeah so i think pretty much the exact same sort of thing from um, what we said last time, right? Yeah. All right. So next up. All right. So Ooh, we, we will check give, this out. We will give some commentary on this one. But do you want to read out? Progress of day one. Almost half the box done to have to a happy tabletop standard. We'll try to get the rest of Ventress done tonight and have a little basing to do at the end so I can do them all in a batch. I think Anakin's hair. Look at it. Shiny boy. Yeah, he does seem very shiny. Actually, I actually think that um, not so much the stormtroopers, but the uh, the Jedi and the um, some of the other people could use um, a matte varnish, but. I think that the stormtroopers and the robots, leaving them semi-gloss, is fine. But I tell you what, the way that he's done up the lightsaber seems to... Have... Looks just like the real lightsaber, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the technique I was trying to tell you about. I'm not sure how he did it, but it was just my idea was something like that. It's the actual color of the lightsaber light, which is a sort of... The blue that is on the shoulder pad of the stormtrooper, right? But a bit lighter. And then you just go in with a streak of uh, pale blue for the middle. Yeah, but see, I'm, I'm not sure whether it's just because we're looking at this particular angle. Perhaps, I'm or... not sure, yeah. But yeah, because like, it just feel like at this angle... It feels 100% like... Like a real lightsaber. Because the real lightsaber, it's, you can see the glow of the color on the outside. And it's just like... And it's pure white. Pure white in the middle. In, yeah. yeah. That's how it's meant to look. And yep. I think you've done spot on with that. And I like the hair. It looks very glossy but and nice. What I, what I like is the difference in the basing. Mm. So you see how you've got these uh, cold grays and these warm... Browns. browns yeah and like the the thing is with them what you could do is for example put like if um i think these guys are fine but uh is it i can't remember who it is but there's some great people who i think we see later on and like i think he deliberately puts them onto the uh, brown base Mm. And I think that's very smart. So. Oh, it's Doffied. Oh my god. That's a lot Big of text. text. Mr. David says, progress. Kind of. So, it's been quite nice weather wise today. And after some quick repairs, I figured I'd take the opportunity to get my burgeoning Imperial Guard army primed. 
in part out of shame, as a fellow member of the Fluff and Hammer group, has only been collecting guard a few weeks and already has several squads painted. I really have no excuse having been working on this a uh, lot since before Christmas. So checked my can of army green, had enough left in it, did the hmm, ways about right, test, and brought everything down to the kitchen. First bit of priming for the command squad and a pair of castellans, no problem. Swap them off the bo- off of the board for the second squad of ca caserkin. 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 Yep, that's and a, the that made up words. Yeah, the can prompt promptly died after the first path. Now I can't be sure, but I suspect that the propellant had just run out. There was an odd resiny mixture at the base of the can when I got it uh, from where I stored it. So that, b- but a uh, kibosh on things, or oh, 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 put, a, put a kibosh on things. I'm, however, already heading into down on my day of, of, down on my day off this Thursday to the hobby shop anyway. So we'll see about grabbing a replacement can whilst I'm here. And it wasn't a total wash. I had enough gray seer uh, let to prime up the commissar for this army and another inquisitor. I really need to start building each of them. Uh, retinues. Retinues. As well as the bonkersly big 3D print. I got a few weeks back of Tiberos the Red Wake. I want to paint this one up as a bit of a personal challenge, but for gaming, I think I'm going to have to buy the files for him. It's a design by Atlan Forge and is up on my on my mini factory. And see if any of my friends with printers could do him 30% or so smaller. He's supposed to be a gigantic space marine, but this is Primark sized. Oh, and whilst running the monthly watch along in the Fluffer Hammer Discord last night, I got this Storm Strikes chariot built for Age of Sigma. Very interesting build and my first experience of one of these easy build kits that's designed to be painted in sub assemblies as it stands in this picture. Neither the riders nor Griff hounds are glued to the chariot itself. They are all dry fitted using the peg holes for each piece. Some genuinely interesting engineering going on with the design there. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, so I do believe this was the Imperial Guard. Ooh, look so, at him. Yeah, and I think this is what he's talking about. You know, he's like, I know that this guy was meant to be big, but he's ridiculous. Um, so he got these guys done up in the army men green Mm. and then, uh, he couldn't get the rest done. So he's saying that like all of this is sort of separate. So you don't have to worry about it as much. Right. And I think, so yes, the post is a little long, but I think he sort of like, it is good because when we have posts like this, right, what we see is sort of the everyday challenges that a lot of hobbyists have, right? Mm-hmm. And one of the big issues for hobbyists can be that you're sort of alone, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. it's so that's why I, I want to see if it's the next one. No, this. So in um, so I really really liked this video uh, by. Um, I was about to say Vince Vaughn, but it's it's not quite Vince Vaughn. Um, it's uh, Vince Vince Vitrella. Yeah, Vince uh, Vitrella. Yeah, and uh, he says this is a hobby where you paint alone, but also as a part of a community, mm. right? And I feel like this is exactly what he's talking about, right? Like where somebody is like, okay. So here's my issues. And you sort of can vent a little bit and you're just like, I, it's like, all right, I wanted to get some progress done, right? And we all have limited time. So here's what I did. And then things went wrong. And you're just As like, per usual. Yeah. And you're just sort of like, of course. And like. <sighs> Welp. Yeah. 
but it's not it's not so much like uh i'm i'm suffering in misery but more like frustration am i the only one sort of thing with this problem or what? yeah yeah like it does this happen to anyone else and mm. like you take a look at some of these things right um so like for example when he's talking about the storm strike chariot and that sort of thing he's like does this make it easier for anyone else to it is like this a big change and blah 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 but yeah so i think i think that's really cool but next up we have the man the myth the legend mr joseph malen it's malen malen no real painting done this weekend. Aeon Trespass ate my homework. <laughs> the end of cycle one was in sight on Friday and I've been so close to finishing all, it all weekend. I've just reached the final fight and need to stop. At least if I want to get a full night's sleep before work in the morning, I need to stop. I guess I know what I'm doing tomorrow evening. Next week, Diablo takes over for a bit. So I might vanish vanish. Okay, for a week or two. But I'll be back soon. Well, see, the, the thing is that Diablo is a video game. And this is real life. Oh. Real life has to take precedent, right? Yes, yeah. I agree with that sentiment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless you're playing with good friends, Joseph. You must be playing with friends. Yes, must be. But I, uh, he, he says that there's almost no painting done, but that's not true. This man has purple pants. And what looks to be dark greenish gray skin. Mm-hmm. In addition, he's also xenopholed up these lovely lasses. Lasses and letters. And, and this guy. Yeah, look at his bajillion abs. Yes, he's called the man hunter. He hunts men. Martian man hunter by man. Yes, just Martian man. Alright, so next up we have Sian Williams. Start up Sunday. <laughs> Is that something we do? No, but why not? Okay, yeah, just I was just like me blow so tongue. You uh, need to explain blow so tongue to so, people. Uh, yeah, it's such a long explanation. So, but sotong means squid in Malay, and when you say some, and, and you know, um, squids they squirt out the the ink, right, which makes things blurry. But essentially, when you call someone a blur sotong, uh, you're saying that they're a bit of an airhead. That they're, they're not very aware of things happening. But yes, yeah, so um, I was a bit of a blur sotong with that because like. Uh, I do. I was not aware of this new hashtag. But anyhow, uh oh, I fell into Forbidden Planet and found the two parts I need to begin my kit bashed low cost lord. Ah, uh, just need to find the resurrection orb now. Bring me your machines. So he's showing that he's gotten these parts from the Imperium magazine. Oh, interesting. So it gives you some sprues, some spare sprues. Did not white dwarf. Yes, it is not white dwarf. You are correct. Unfair. But so we will just have to see where that one's going. Only white dwarf is the official. Well, they're also official, but okay. All right. So as per usual. Oh, no, I've clicked the forbidden. No, no, it's okay. This is fine. All right. So we... Did a welcome uh, Monday post, yeah. and I talk far too much as I usually do. And there has been Shanada gag, so uh, Spectre Studios was a new member again. <laughs> but um, Chad and uh, Kerry, was it Kerry? Mm. Yeah, okay. Kerry Chad- Hughes. Yes. Um, so we want to say welcome to you, Chad and Kerry, and. Um, Let's take a look at what Kerry did. It was Kerry, right? Uh, uh, yep. Yes. It's Kerry. So here we go. I think it looks did. really good. Look it. Hey, oh, it's that. actually in focus. Very in focus. Yes, I know. Uh, but like, sorry, uh, Kerry, like often we have new people come in 
and they're like, behold my blur. <laughs> and you're like, thank you, new person. There is pooling in the uh, teal on the armor plate, but other than that, I think it's yeah, I think quite lovely. I think that she was going for a um, sort of uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called, uh, non-metallic metal. Uh, mm. Sorry, not non-metallic metal, um, like candied metal or mm. um, colored metal, right? Where you have like a sort of colored tint to your metal. Rather than, you know, uh, a true sort of color to it. And you can do that, Carrie. So let's talk about what Carrie did right. What did Carrie do right? Colors. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Also, also like the... The basing is very nice. Don't yeah, you? yeah. The basing is a, a good start because it looks like Swamp. you printed this base. And like it's got some area in here. So I think... Uh, you could put like some water effect or PVA down oh, there. Make it look more like, like marshy, swamp, swampy. Yeah, because yeah, that's where these people are from. Uh, the eye looks good. So if you want that sort of colored metal effect, right? Note that this is something we will commonly say. Though they say contrasts are for beginners, they are not. Um, be, be forewarned on that one. Basically, uh, what I think you would like to do is um, get your contrast point. I'm sorry, I'm really trying to be quiet to in the drinking the water. Yes, I think yes, can... trying to be quiet. Okay, all right. Oh, well, it just goes down a bit harsh. <sighs> Maybe when you're drinking like a sea water. Maybe because I'm trying so hard. Yo. Anyway, um, but if you thin your contrast with contrast medium, you'll get the effect that you would like there more. I'm just going to double check what she said. I've been chipping away on my crimbos, learning, determined to finish off the project, chipping away at 30 guys. Because I was trying to see if she said anything about how she sort of wanted to do them. I think other than that, I think it's all pretty good, like, uh, aiming for a sort of tabletop standard, as far as I can tell, right? Yeah. Um, and look, yeah, I, I hope that that advice is helpful. I think what you did well is the color scheme and the basing. And the basing, yeah. Yep. All right. And that's what we do here. So what we try to do is we try to give advice tailored to the person. The person yeah, and, and our goals. Uh, so like if yeah. you're if you're aiming for character level, you know which is your personal um best. Yeah, yeah. Without like over pushing yourself too much, yeah. like uh, and then showcase would be like pulling out all the stops, competition yeah, yeah. showcase. Uh, yeah, 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 you're display you're, level. You're trying to get, go beyond your personal best. Yes. Yeah, you are. You know, getting mm. ready for that marathon. Reaching for the stars. All right, so Rainer um, painted up this. Freehand class. He did this in freehand class. And uh, wow, it wow, is, is impressive. It? Yes. But I had this whole back and forth and he's like, oh, I took a friend to class and I'm just like, oh, are you, paint, uh, are you posting it on uh, their behalf? He's like, what? Huh? I don't, what? And I'm just like, yeah, but it is, it is very impressive. And see, like the the issue is right. Once you once you get those skills down pat, you like you'll really get a lot better at them. Mm. But until you get it down pat, it is so easy for things to go wrong with these things, right? Yeah. Um, but I think one of the other big things is when they have them on something that big. You can sort of sketch out your design in pencil first. Yes. Which uh, makes things... A lot easier. A heck of a lot easier. But I wonder what he's going to do with the rest of it. Like the rest of the course now that he's done that. Oh, uh, just a wash. Oh, okay. Yep. That's that's what I think. Just a wash. That's... Cool beans. <laughs> I thought it was very nice. Yes, I think it's very nice too. I'm obviously joking... Or am I? 
Ba ba ba. Lance, Lance. Okay. Druid, I was working. Hey, yeah, I didn't read the thing. Working on along with the evil priest, which is almost finished. Enjoy a uh, sling, a little paint for me. <laughs> Looked it up before this post, and it, this lovely is number 77 for the year. So his goal is to hit a hundred miniatures for this year, and definitely he's gonna go very yeah, yeah. quickly. And too. like, uh, we're halfway through, and I think that he's gonna hit it. Yay! Let's take a look at her. I love the colors that he's chosen for I think this. The lady. eyes look good too. Yeah, but I think he's going for a yellow inner shirt at the neck area, but it looks no, very I close think... to the skin color. Look at that. Or is it just all yellow? Cause no, it... no. That's that's her. And I think she's wearing a necklace. Which yeah, is like, sort of like yellow. Color. It looks straight up yellow. Yeah, it's a necklace. And she's... So she's wearing a necklace. Mm. So I think maybe if that necklace was like a much darker gold. Um, or maybe even like true metallic gold, if you'd like to try that out. No, he does not want to try that out. Like a dark gold or even a steel color would really help um, make that contrast. But oh, look at the back text, of it. Texture, texture paste or make your own texture paste. It's just PVA and sand, my dude. Yeah, and then you can add craft paint to it to make it whatever color you want. Exactly. And that'll just add that soil. We will have base. to make up a video specifically for Lance. <laughs> mm. We'll be like, Lance, come listen. here, my friend. But yeah, no, I think it's looking really good. I like, with the exception of no soil underneath, uh, I really like the the base. Yeah, I think um, he's very much improving in his basing. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. I think he just forgets that one little thing. I don't think he forgets it. I think he's just like, man, do you know how many, many miniatures 100 is? It's a lot. And I'm like, yeah, I do know how many miniatures 100 is. And you're Probably. getting there, my dude. Mm, 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 mm. You're getting there. And yes, I I very much enjoyed the responses to these. I enjoyed Ooh. seeing all of the uh, all of the people who have um, been responding. So, uh, John, I just wanted to say with this, right? So, John said, "Good call to action." I can use my N scale. Not um, a mo- real, real hobby. Yeah, and like. Hobby is hobby, my dude. Like, if you're painting, post it up. Wow, look at that. I know. It looks amazing. Look at the bricks. Right, and, and he's just like, this isn't hobby painting. I'm not doing anything. That's oh, lovely. Yeah. And like, yeah, it, exactly. See, listen to the, the wife character. She's the one that people listen to, not me. And plus, like I said in the comment section, if there are more different types of hobbies showing off in here, more everyone will have a little piece of the pie to take away different lessons from the different hobbies and apply it to their hobby. Yes, not just that. But you, you might not be the only hobbyist who is feeling that way. Yeah. Right? You, like, if you post, maybe someone else who does the model railway thing uh, might start posting their stuff, right? Mm. And see, though these videos can take a long time for us, you know, we're happy if these videos take one hour, two hours, three hours. And and they service the community. Yeah, because, look, you know... We're all here for a good time, not a long time. And having people who actually care about what you do, that makes a difference in your life. Yeah. And even if it's just, you know, going on and just seeing somebody talk about what you've done for five, ten minutes, you know, uh, I think that's good for your mental health. Uh, Sunny is nodding. Yes. Yes, she often does that once uh, we start talking. But yes, yeah, so Calvioni uh, said that he's gotten a large box from... Uh, Archon. Yeah, which is the people who have done the... Um, Dungeons and Lasers. Yes, so I said I both fear, uh, both love and fear large boxes from Archon. And um, Christopher, Christopher's like... 
I'm going to show this off, but not make a post, because I don't know how. Look at my big gunship boy. All right, now, how do I, how do I uh, rotate it 90 degrees? Nothing is happening, honey. Yes, I saw that. I saw that nothing happened, so here we go, here we go. You... Mm. Oh, did, I, I did the it the wrong way. Yes. I did it. I did it wrong. Did it a wrong. Uh, you did it a correct. Yes. Ta da! Look at the blue light, the red light, and the metal. I think he's just making it black for now. I'm not yeah, sure if he wants yeah. to add more well, she highlight used, to he it. He used to do a sort of uh, bluish. Blue, bluish black, which is quite lovely. Yes. So I like the green accents that you've added now. And the blue charging up in the gun looks very, very, mm, very nice. Now you just but, need a little bit more of a, like a brighter inner light sauce. Mm, but we should probably read his words. There's so many words, honey. He said, sorry, mate. Haven't been doing my Mate with an eight. You know, it, it's not good enough, is it, honey? Mm -mm. No. Mm. Managed to something, something... Uh, there's hairs and you know what we'll we'll just skip over it i mean like <laughs> he's not he's not making up a post for us so it's it's obviously Henry being a jerk as always yes but to be hey see I look, look at this ground yeah hey, I, I told him i really like the basing on this guy yes it's a level uh, but, tier but before i forget before i forget um yes chris we would like you be posting again. Yes, make post. Make post. Ah. Right. Make haste and make post. Ah, it's gonna be a new line. Mm hmm Lance was closer than I thought. Evil cleric? Maybe dad waving your report <laughs> card in your face. <laughs> He's definitely upset. <laughs> Demanding to know how you could possibly get a D graded man. Looks like more than just a D grade, Papa Man. Yeah, he, he's, he's there's many like, other grades on he, there. He's like, what do you, um a disruption to class? What does this mean, Timothy? What does this mean? I don't know, Father. But yes, I I really really like. You the got way. the skull. Yeah, no, the basing's really good. I bet he used cork. Yeah, like of course cork. he used cork. Yeah, see, it's cork and sand. I do like that it's tiered. Mm, mm, it gives mm. a bit of a story. And yes, oh, look, this is how he did the base paint. And then after that, he put the, he put the, like, a wash over. And it really brought out all the details. Mm, I like, uh, I like the... I know it's a bone scythe, yes. but I think it's a bit too ochre like it needs a bit more of a cream or yeah, white yeah, 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 yeah. to make but it really look like bone but to, yeah. to be honest i'm just happy to see the Lance. base i just love the base yeah but i mean like see like here's the thing you know people progress in fits and spurts and sometimes slowly over time but basing was the key thing that lance needed to do to do that little step up and see everybody needs to step up a little even when you're just trying to batch paint and that sort of thing, right? But Lance's goal is to get 100 done. Mm. And basing is just... It really makes a miniature. It can make a mediocre miniature great. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really wanted Lance to focus on that. Because, like, how much does this guy look better than some of Lance's previous ones? Like, for example... I liked the druid, right? Mm. But imagine if the druid was just on some ground instead of um, instead of just that flatness, mm. and this just really adds something to him. Mm -mm. It makes There's a him, story. There's a ma drama. Yeah, it makes him feel epic. Like, look, look at what you've wrought. Look, oh. how dare you bring this home to yes. me, Jeremy? What does what does your teacher mean by doesn't socialize? <laughs> uh, you know, once I think the teacher said the same about me. Well, that's that's because you're an unsocialized monster. Who, who keeps, ah! 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, luckily, luckily uh, for me, you have to read me. Andy Dickinson. So the bust is still just chilling. <laughs> I did darken the eyebrows a little as suggested, and I need to get a plinth, plinth. for her. Ooh, plinth. Yes, you know what it is. I now. know what it is now. But once I've got that, I think I'm calling her done. In the meantime, I started this Carnival Mini because both red and yellow are notoriously easy to paint colors. So, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> so I'm sure this will be fine. Also, there is the orc blacksmith I'm working on in the background because focusing on only one project at a time is an impossibility. I'm trying to resist the siren call of Shatterpunk. <laughs> yes. You, you and you and Cage should talk. You know, Cage can it's just, just be... like ooh, shatter point, shatter point, shatter, shatter point. That's all you're gonna say when you meet each other. You're not even gonna use words. You're just gonna say shatter point, and that will be the language of the gods. But just, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it when he's like, oh, but... yellow, yellow and red are just notoriously easy to uh, paint colors, and I'm like. Well, yes, we see the sarcasm. Yes. But look at how well he's done. It's so precise. But I also love this sort of thing because, do you know, like, the medieval people were so colourful, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because, like, the, the thing is, right, you take a look at medieval um, gardens, what they had, all of this sort of thing, right? And you take a look at how highly they valued dyes and all of this sort of thing. Mm. And then in games and that sort of thing, they're just like, wash them with mud, make them brown. And it's the same with movies and stuff, right? Whereas like in the real Middle Ages, we'd know that they're, they're like just absolutely popping with color. Merlin. That, what? What are you talking about? Because I like that TV show. Oh my god, that show was trash. What? Really? Yes, yes, it was It was mid. I liked it. Yeah, but the, the yellow and red really come up. Oh, he's got overpaint. Oh, overpaint. Oh, Andy. 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 Stop. <laughs> Why you do this to the man? Because he was making a joke and I made a joke with him. Now he's going to be depressed. Mm, nah, Andy, you, you're a good guy. You're going to give Andy super depression. Not it's regular all right. depression, just you, You're going to have just a slight bit of touch-up with the yellow and it'll be fine. Cause, like, we, all look at that that yellow, we all know that yellow doesn't have slight touch-up. Yellow has uh, horrific crying and <laughs> that's about it. If you can, if you can, Andy. That, that, uh, that, nope. Yes. Uh, but yeah, looking good. Um, I really like where it's going. Uh, I am looking forward to seeing it finished. Mm. I like the one in the background. We never talked about the one in the background. Oh, no one. No one give me hard time. So you're going to have to give me a hard time on this one. Okay, so I click here. No, this one is you got to give me the feedback. Because I took the picture. Shush. Shush. So there is, there is some... Uh, there was some feedback. There was some feedback. All right, so Angela Bassett said a lot of things. <laughs> 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 What's worse than terrain? Cleaning. Child. A child. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I think you did absolutely fantastic with sort of setting the mood. Mm. I, I should have pushed this... Uh, a bit more further down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, like, I'm like, oh, that looks nice. And then it's just, like... Floating. Yes. Floating wood roof. Yes, essentially. But I really do like how the lights came out. Yeah, I was a bit doubtful about the way things turned out. But after taking pictures of it, I was just like, you, hey... You were a bit doubtful of how things turned out. I what was. is this meant to me? It's like, in the terms of the way we set up the town. And then oh. after that, when I took a look at the pictures, and I'm just like, hey, it really does feel... But like like what, a zen garden, you know? But what I really liked was where... Um, oh, look, it's pond. Yes. Basic pond. But what I really did like was where Angela's just like, nothing bad will happen, happen here. here. I have, I have decided. decided. And I'm just like, 
Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You see, he got a little path, and he's going out into the into the wood, into the garden. Mm. I liked nice. how I managed to marry up those uh, two wooded areas. Yeah. There, you know, just, you can just little the... things like this, and like where it's got a bit of a story. It's like here's these, you know, private wooded areas, and then there's the sort of the markets. Yeah, and they are rice fields over here. But yeah, I thought it was. Uh, you see, I, I make the rice bundle area so because it's easy access mm. from the rice paddy field. Easy to take and transport. But yes, I feel like now, you know, we should, uh, what we should do is like put on some like uh, chirping music, you know, just. Oh, yeah. You know, just. Fade. <laughs> but that's in the morning. This is night time. You gotta go. No, what's the uh, cricket noises? What's the no? We've got the tuki tuki bird here. What's the tuki tuki bird? No, no. Uh, the what's the what's the bird you? The whip bird? No, not the whip bird. You know the the other bird that can't who sometimes sings ooh. at night. The uwu, ooh. the uwu uwu ooh. bird. Yeah, I guess. Um. This is the part of the show that Henry, Henry and Sonny make mm. various noises. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so next up we've got Cage. Cage. Day two. Painted all the mandos and more, leaving me just a soaker from the core box. So, one model until my goal. Have the other stuff from wave one, so still another nine models to go, but not urgent. So, let's take a look here. Look at the red. So, this, this is what I was saying, right? So with Hera, he so I found it interesting that he added blue to the clouding of the blaster, right? um, which, like obviously that's going to contrast well with the orange, which we don't see facing this way, right? Mm. Uh, I feel like, um, but what I like right here is how, like I I think that could have contrasted better against the brown here but instead he chose to put it on the gray probably because this guy is you know um a red one but you see how this guy contrasts so well against his base because he's on the uh red earth there yeah and see that's what i was saying right whereas i think like it would have been good if this guy was also on sort of on, on the a red, red. yeah yeah and just though so like the way that he's sort of done that two-tone base allows for a great deal of contrast mm, mm. um so i'd say the thing that he could do better is better use of the base spacing if that makes sense mm -hmm. um i'm not 100 percent sold on old mate here i've forgotten his name um the i think that's the Maul. silent menace yeah darth maul yes oh, darth maul yes i'd forgotten his name but see, like here, see how that blast off is on the um, is on the red. Yeah, and he's the blue guy. Like I feel like this guy would have done better being swapped with that base. You follow mm, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and like other than that, I think it's all really good because like his aim is to get these things done and done quickly. Yeah, right? and I think he's done the color choice very nicely. He's done a very good amount of shading. To be fair, with the with the color choicing, he doesn't have a great deal of room with the color choicing. He cause like are you gonna the, follow what the? Yeah, well, I mean, I do believe that is what Cage is doing, following what the Star Wars law sort of is. Um, but I mean, like he has taken his own sort of liberties, mm -hmm. like for example, with the blue in the cloud, instead of having it a sort of straight neutral crowd, a cloud. Like neutral gray? Yeah, neutral gray. Yeah, I think because it's a, a pretty, uh, how do I say this, very classic, because like that's how we're taught as kids when painting clouds, you use like a blue shadowing. I guess, I guess. But see, it's more the thing that it, it adds visual interest. It does. It really does. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, so I really like all of the Mandalorians. I'm not as sold on Darth Maul. Um, Why not? It looks good. Well, one, I can't see him well. Two, um, like at 
from this distance. It looks like he's uh, uh, he's going out to Florida for you know the uh, dance like, scene. The because, Hawaiian pants are going yeah, on. Yeah, the the pants are a bit over the top, uh, but who knows? That's probably Star Wars lore, you know. And it'll be like Darth Maul, after losing his legs, decided that he wanted to go clubbing. They now play the two thousands electronic music. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you know, what's that? Oh, you know what? Mewtwo can actually pick up on some of these things where people have like hummed those things along and like they've gotten copyright strikes. I'm not even joking. Our bad jokes coming back to bite us. Aya. It's all right. We have like nine subscribers on this one. Aya. But too anyway. small to care. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's um, let's move on. Yeah. Like, I uh, more pitches. Hold, hold up. Uh, did we say what he did well? Um, Not yet. What he did well and what do you need so to improve? So the, he did the Mandalorians well. What do you think? I, he I think he did the coloring very precisely. The shading came out very well. Lots of visual interest in the models mm -hmm, themselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But improvement could be done on which basis he chose to put which character. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. yeah. So there we go. There we go. Ah. Getting ready for 10th, he says. And you're, Look at and, him. And you're just like... The brightness of the blue. I love it. I la, 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 la. love it. And the blue but, but is see, my like, favorite color. See, he went from obviously the best chapter of the Dark Angels, not biased at all, um, <laughs> to Wait, the... Wait, are you like Dark Angels? Honey, did... Why do you... Is it's that, a, it's all right. It's all right. Know. She doesn't care about me or pay attention I to me I only know way. that you like the lion, honey. Yeah, of course I like the lion. He's your favorite. Yes, the Captain Genocide is my favorite. Uh, uh, but That's yeah. the only thing I know about him in the uh, one year of marriage and uh, three years of dating. I know nothing else about this man other than the fact that he loves the lion. Is, is it only been three years? I thought it was been four. Who knows? Next time on Dementia Couple. <laughs> <laughs> Spectre, Spectre's like, what this, is the, this is the first time I've posted, yo. You need to dial it back you with your personal input. Not too much information, <laughs> he's, you he's guys. Like, Are you actually going to talk about my model? No? No. Cool. I'm out of here. Blue is my favorite color, and you ruined this model by making it anything but its original form. Good day to you, sir. What? What are you talking about? It? What? I thought it was a dark angel, right? No. So a guy converted it, and then he scraped it back and sanded it down uh, back to its originalness. Original nullness. Original null oilness. Well, what? Null and oil. Null and null oil oilness. <laughs> Young Kraken Green. Okay. But well, okay, fine. We've been we've been derailing too much. Yes. Look at the blue, my dude. Yeah, yes. Look at the blue. The blue has come up very well and obviously you're blocking in colours now. How but did he will... do it, honey? Was it all just airbrush? How is it yes, done? Yes, I do believe it's all airbrushing and magic. Wow. He's a magician. Raina, you need to show us the He probably has a YouTube and he's like you Listen, need to show I've, us how it's I, done. I, I I, I have actually shown you, but you didn't pay attention, so I'm just going to move on. I think he's going to just move on to edge highlighting from, from here, yeah? Probably, probably, probably. It looks great, my dude. Oh, and then Angela. Ooh, Angela, look at this doll. This. Can I have it? No, you can't steal I our friend's things. I want this stop, doll. Stop stealing our friend's things. I want it, honey. Stop it. I want to do OSL and then ruin it because I had such high expectations of myself. He's wheezing. You know, we used to play this game at a party. Every time Henry wheezed, you take a shot and I got really drunk. Got drank really, I, 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 I drank it too, too many times <laughs> and I fell asleep. I fell asleep, <sighs> I did. Yeah, I did fall asleep. 
Yes, read, read the... A current read. project I am printing and assembling. Huh, came out really well, the print. You must tell us your ways. Oi, just... It's pin- going to require some major gap filling since the pieces aren't all fitting together perfectly. It, it looks, I cry. It looks as if it's all fitting together... Um, Properly, like like it's ruined. It's oh, yes. The- also, also, I said this to her. It's like... Um, very mystery. I hope there's good things behind the door because she's I like hope never smile. And, and then I'm like, no oh, bad, bad things, things should ever happen, happen here. here. I'm I have decided. Damn it! <laughs> using my words against me, like like, like Harry Potter, like, like a, a child. child. <laughs> but yeah, that um, is beautiful. Oh, look at all the intricate so details. I, I see what she's saying with the slight warping down here. Ah. Uh-huh. But um, other than that, you know, like, I think it all looks good. You know, like, I, I can't honestly see the gaps. If you're talking about along here, that just looks like standard sort of stone construction where people have placed slabs and put yeah, things together. Like, it doesn't it doesn't look wrong. It's like a ruin. So, like, I guess... A ruin? A ruin. A ruin. I think I can. Could I borrow your mouse for a second? No. I think okay. I know what she means by right here. Can you see the gap? No, but see, like I thought, I thought that's deliberate. Like you're talking about along here, right, where there's the breaks and stuff. No, yeah, but like you can see the tile on the other side, can't you? Like it's a. I think it looks fine. Yeah. I, well, I thought it looked good too. Yes. We shall uh, continue. Yes. Oh, At look, the place where nothing bad happens. Look, she also top. Oh yes, Ooh, and yes. so. Here's, here's the thing that I wanted to say. Um, I say a lot of words here, but essentially there's two things. People fail. I fail. You fail. We all fail. We all get D's on the report card. Yes. And then... And we shall be spanked and by the evil cleric daddy. It's not a cleric. It's the... That's... Who is it? Evil cleric? He, he said an evil priest or evil cleric, essentially. I thought it was wizard. Ah, uh, he said a cleric. Okay. Anyway, so... Uh, essentially, we all we all felt, but it's about getting back up and trying again, right? Mm, no matter how frustrating and uh, soul <laughs> soul depleting it is, you like, have to get up. Because like this, this was not what I wanted, yeah. even remotely. But I mean, like here's the thing, you know, if if you don't, if you don't try, you don't know. Yeah, and the other thing is time, right? Like so. We are trying really hard to start catching up and start posting at appropriate times and so on. But, like, the thing is, um, it's going to happen. You're going to fail. Mm. And mm. you've got to move on. And then you've got to, uh, you've got to watch out because time is going to steal everything from you. It's very unfortunate. Unless you stop it. You can't. Oh, you can't? You can't. I see. Well, I'm, I I guess that means you just have to keep going. Yeah. 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 Then that's about it, you guys. I could say some very dark things right now, but I, I will, I'll spare you. Okay. So now, Paul Miller. Yeah. Of, of Ducks fame, the Mighty Ducks. Ooh, Mighty Ducks. Now uh, he's so, got himself another cute army. Yeah, he's got a few different options here, right? Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween. Um, but he's got himself a few different options <gasps> here. Ooh. Yes. The, uh, these these girls are very fun. Uh, the old school witches. <laughs> Man, I think these the models. color is very nice, but well, no, no, no. A bit See, flat. these are old ones that I think he's going to strip. Yeah. Oh. So okay. he's going to, uh, he's going to get down in front of them, and you know, wow, wow. Uh, you, know. you know, even on the AK Interactive uh, paint stripper uh, bottle, it's literally a, a a silhouette of a girl on a on a pole dancing. Really? Yeah, it is. It's a silhouette. But, okay, so his question was, uh, which should I do? And, like, the thing is, there's nothing against you, Paul, but I hate this question because the thing is, right, why? 
what why uh what what makes you want to do these different things right because i read through right and he's like uh which do i paint and he's like i'm open to any suggestions and that sort of thing right and i i basically said you know what calls out to you what what makes you want to paint what makes you want to paint follow the feelings and like the thing is there can be you can you can even be negatively geared to get something done it's like i have to get this done because i've got a tournament done uh like, coming out this weekend and, or whatever you know it's got to get done it just, it just needs to be done i want to be done right but the the thing is you want to paint these why which one calls to you and what what do you like about them? That sort of thing. And see, after that, we can sort of give, you know, appropriate responses. Because mm. at the moment, I feel like, okay, you, you like these models. They're all super different. Each of these teams are super different in play style. What, it, it's like, uh, I'm like that... Uh, you know, you think, what do you want? What, what do you, you want? want? You know, uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, that's going to be in not shush. this week's. Hey, no, shush. They're our core fans. You will you will shush yourself. Not this, not this week's video, surprise. but next week's video. That's the start off. What do you want? It's a surprise. Yes. So, uh, look ah, what, ah. yes. So, he had a look family dinner. But he managed to finish off. Look at a Ahsoka. I really love the light sourcing here because you can see how exactly where you're, the you're light right. hits. He, you're right. It looks as if he has. Um, you just paint blue and then a stripe a of white, white in the middle. Yeah. yeah, this is what I was telling you about when you were doing the Star Wars models. Mm, mm, mm. And so, take a look at exactly where the light hits with the metal. It's perfect. Mm, but, I mean, that's reflected light. That's not truly painted, I don't think. Oh. I think it's just the uh, coat. But I tell you what, it's, it's nicely done. I really like very it. Very precise. Yeah, it is very precise. Um, and, like... The, the thing is, right, what I like about Cage is the same sort of thing I like about um, Lance and Patrick, right? These people make goals and then they go, we're going to hit our goals. And then they hit their goals, right? And like, honestly, guys, this is something to take away from this, right? Why are these guys productive? Like, now, you can have a go at somebody's paint level or something like that, right? But they've got painted models and you don't, right? Yes. And the thing is, the reason that they have painted models is they're like, I've got this goal, I'm giving myself this much time, and I'm going to achieve it. And that's the thing. Cage wants to play this game and he's like, I'm going to get these painted to a decent standard because I've seen some of his Titan and some of his 40k stuff. He can really go ham if he wants to, right? And that's the thing. It is okay to paint at different levels. Look, I paint as a profession, right? Not everybody wants a showcase model. In fact, most people don't want showcase models. They either want character or tabletop. tabletop. Yeah. And in fact, most people just want tabletop, right? Because like they go, oh, I can't paint to your tabletop level. But the thing is, they just want something to play with. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing wrong with that. Go for what is good for you, right? And here's the thing. Don't try and paint an amazing showcase model with your first model. Just try your best. Mm -hmm. And like, that's what these guys do. They come in and they're like, here's my goal. And it's like, you know, if these guys made mistakes, they'd just go, okay, either I'll fix that up now quickly or I'll move on. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, 
They know they've got this time limit and they know that they're going to hit this and be done. All right. So next up, Ooh. we have Mimo Seymour and like... That freehand. Oh. It's not freehand though. Is it not? No. No, oh. it's not freehand. It's Disappointed. Uh, honey, he's painting up minis. Don't be disappointed in him. All right. <laughs> Read. Massively early days, but another of the Ultra Chapter banners underway. Trying to do all ten, but the specific bearer holding each. The eighth uh, company is Assault Company. So... So he's given him a Storm Hammer, because ah. they're Assault people, so they... I out. think it's come out really nice. You've done the the gold. Let's, let's take a look at this. Yes, 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 yes. Take a oh look my at this. god! But yeah, it's but it's coming along. It's not on yet because it will be holding this. So his hand is probably on the back of this, mm. Mm -hmm. right? Um, but yeah, so obviously still early days, as you said, right? Uh, this looks good. Look, what are you going for, my dude? That's what we want to uh, start out with first, right? Because if you're going for tabletop level, basically what you need to do is clean up your white in here and paint this skull and then, you know, this and this down here and you're pretty much done. It looks but really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying because, like, we've got some nice subtle highlights with the contrast paint here. I think it's contrast paint. But anyway, like, there's some nice subtle highlights, but... If you want to go all the way, you know, push your stuff up here. And it is very nice to see you posting a non-mean post. So, yeah, that's cool. Because he did the Easter, the Killer Easter Bunny. Um, and what was the other one? I'm not sure. I thought he has been posting some models. No, no, he posted Killer Easter Bunny and the Corn Skulls. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Let us move on. Ah, oh, it's, it's this guy. Let's move on. Oh, uh, yeah, this we, guy, he we... always posts garbage. Lanny, stop it. Yes, all right, all right. Well, we, we will look at the final piece, so we will skip that for now. All right. Repost due to Mist Templar. Uh, whip Wetness Day. Woo! Woo! So it's slowly coming together, this gorgeous low cast lord. Uh, just needs some TLC, bit of green stuff, and his resurrection orb. So that's uh, total. Uh, uh, sorry, totally uh, low, low cast low kill. Uh, ca cult. Kill? Totally low cast cult, yeah. He needs to have the totally low cast cult. Cult, yes. Yeah. Tender loving care. Yes, honey, but we. We made a rule that we were going to make fun of acronyms. Yes. Going to use my usual scheme when I get to painting. Just got to build this boy first. Wish me luck, guys. As for my Templar, all right. right I wish him luck, but Good you're not luck. allowed. <laughs> you're not <Good> allowed. Luck. <laughs> <laughs> you're not allowed to. You're not one of the guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> As for my Templar, I, I again try my hand at flesh, deciding to do a wash, one-to-one -one contrast, uh, medium, right? Yeah. And Agrax Earth Shade. And then I, pro I brought that tone back up with a one-to-one -one skeleton horde mix. Lamb. Um, Lamia medium. Oh, Lamia medium. Lamia, whatever. Which brought the tone up just enough to my liking. Bit if... Uh, if Katie and flesh tone on eyebrows and nose, followed by some poor attempts to highlight most prominent in my eyes, with some screaming skulls, super thin, on bone structure. Slow progress is slow, but as they say, every brushstroke is a victory. Yes, nice. every brushstroke is a victory. But by the sounds of things, what you are saying uh, with some of the things you were talking about there, it sounds like you might be stepping up a bit too high in some of your values so yeah this is i, I do believe it's a necron yes mm. it's a necron um so i think we saw this guy propped up many many weeks ago and now he's starting to come together 
Um, but let's take a look at the Templar. Ooh, look at the head. All right, so I'm going to zoom in on this one and see if we get a... Oh, nice song. Oh, oh, oh. this looks good. Huh. It's looking good. It's looking good. What's going yeah, on? Looking nice, looking nice. But it, oh. do, it does sound as if uh, the issue is that you're stepping up too high in your values too quickly. Mm. So, all right. Here is a quick and easy way to cheat with faces, right? So listen to me, my dude. This is what you do, right? You get your, your face, whatever it is, right? You do a, not a heavy wash, just a standard wash, and then dry brush with a bone color, mm -hmm. right? So whatever your wash color is going to be for your uh, face, right? That's your start. But then you don't actually use the wash. So let's say that you're trying for skin. What I do here is, oh, what is talon flesh? So talon flesh is kind of like, oh no, I don't know what talon. Uh, so there's Cadian, Cadian flesh tone. Oh my God, dude. Their names are all so silly. Um, so what I would probably do with him, right, is go like this. If, you, if you're trying to learn faces, right? I'd go do the wash, dry brush up. Then I'd go a one-to-one -one, um, mix of Bugman Flesh uh, with Cadian Flesh Tone. And that mix having equal parts with Lamy and Medium. Put that on nice and thin and then uh, put on just straight... Uh, Cadian flesh tone um, in each of the areas where those highlights are still coming through from the uh, from the wash before and then step up to a mix of Cadian flesh tone with is it Cadian? Yeah, Cadian Flesh Tone with... I've forgotten what the next um, Anglo skin is, which is lighter. There's Cadian and... But yeah, just the next lighter skin tone and then sort of go up there. And then if you're going to do things like you've done with the Skull White, see, it's too extreme. What I would have done, if you want to do Skull White, that's fine, man. It's... Sorry, not skull white. Um, sharp do bone. It's okay, right, to help pick things out. But what you want to do is something like, say, uh, like have it thinned three to one with Lamy and medium. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, when you put it on, you're not going to have these dirty big dots. You're going to have some diffused color. Mm. But yeah, so I think, you know, there are worse things that happen at sea. All right. So next up, we've got... Grave. Oh. Do it again. Frost grave. <laughs> All right. So we've got Ron Purvis. Started on some demons for Frost Grave. Frost Grave. Yeah. We used to enjoy our frost grave. I really did love doing frost grave. All right, so let's take a look. So I did see a very mean comment, which was from your friend, I believe. Which, My friend? No, his friend. Oh. James needs more highlighting. <laughs> they look like a the, bit like a red blobs. Yeah, it just started on them. But I do think that he's right in that, um, like... Obviously, yeah, you just started on them. I think these are the actual Frostgrave demons. Right? Not possible. Because they look good? Yes. <laughs> Sunny hates the Frostgrave demons. Or the official Frostgrave. Frost she hates all of the official Frostgrave models. I don't know why. Ugly. But, um, yeah, it looks like you've got some good... Um, some good contrast there as a start, but the contrast needs to be pushed up quite a bit. Um, 
So, the this is one of the problems with monocolored miniatures. Mm-hmm. You really have to push the contrast a hundred and ten percent to have things pop. You'd agree with that, wouldn't you? Hmm. Ugh. I don't know. I just, I guess, I kind of like that desaturated look of this guy. Well, see, if he's gonna do that, right? He's gonna make these horns pop out. He's gonna have these teeth here, right? Yeah. He's gonna have to make the wings a different color. And when it comes down to these guys, you're not gonna have a lot of room for error. Right. You know, you're gonna have to make the claws pop and all of that. So either you're gonna have to put a lot of work in. Or you think, push the contrast. I think they use just some um, wow, it's very soft oh, and, makeup brush. Too. And when we say push the contrast, we don't mean contrast paint. We mean values. Yeah. So I think I think if you just grab the very soft um, uh, yeah, makeup, makeup brush. brush and then you just use... Do not use red mixed with white because that will be pink. Well, what you could do, though, is one of the things that I find that really helps, right? Get a light grey, right? Dry brush that on. Then get a pure white, dry brush that over the top of the grey. And re-establish your contrast colour. And see, it will come out so much lighter than before. So, so not lighter, but brighter. Mm-hmm. So it's the same color, right? And it will also deepen your other areas because it does look as if he's using a lot of contrast. And right here, we got some major pooling. So, okay, one moment. Uh, we're just going to pause. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what are you doing? And do, we're, we're back. back. Doing our intro music. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, do, 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 uh, we ask that you guys give uh, the level of paint job that you guys are aiming for. So that we know. know what standard you're going for and we can give the relevant advice. Yes, yes. Uh, like we, we ask that you you tell us your goals. And like, uh, to be fair, if he looked at other people's posts, he's like, people just post random whips. And I'd be like, well, that's fair, Ron. Mm. That's, that's This fair. is true, but not not quite yes so um for tip thursday uh we did the xenathon highlighting yes but tip. basically uh i've written a whole article on it and i've got to basically i've just got to add the the video the of it vidya. Mm. Vidya. Vidya. Uh, of it turning around z is for superman oh yes um, um, yeah of the guy turning around but basically here's the thing uh, if you want a nice thing, instead of xenotholing from the top, xenothol from the side. Put in your light and your dark and uh, color. Mm. And then mm. after that, put some um, put some values back in, like some uh, light gray and then finally some white. And then hit it with some contrast and you'll get something like these. Wow! wow. It is wow. quite lovely. Hey, you said beautiful. You said beautiful. Very I, subtle OSL. Love it. You know, I did not see these comments till now. So it, it is it is nice it's to come to these. your fault. Uh, it's my fault. What? Your ignorance has blinded you. I'm sorry. I was working. <laughs> <laughs> see, like that's 17 hours ago. Oh my God, was I working? That? No, I was asleep and then I was working. <laughs> and I was just working <laughs> at 10 <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> Yes. Shall we talk about the way they turned out? <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> All right. So uh, here we go. We'll uh, we'll get rid of this guy's terrible post, and uh, what we'll do is we'll get you to 
read and then we'll go through. My most recent commission finished up. Models are from Betrayal at House on the Hill level tabletop. Trying for a pretty extreme OSL effect. Let me know what you guys think. And behold the difference between Sunny and me taking pictures. Alright everyone, keep those brushes wet. P.S. It's your jobs to critique me so Sunny doesn't have to do it all on Friday. Oh yes, and just one more thing on this guys. Is it better if I say tabletop level or level tabletop? Because tabletop level. You you were the one who got me to turn it around. No, I, I told said, you I said tabletop, tabletop level. No, you no, said no. No, no, yes, no. no yes, you said yes, level you tabletop and yes, I said you change it back. I, 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 showed, I showed it to you, tabletop level. and then You you're posted like, no. this before oh, the other posts. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's smiling. Oh, oh, you guys can't see it. She is a troll. No, this she... is true. I tell the truth. I saw him say level <laughs> tabletop. I say, Annie, that's not how we say it. We no, say tabletop no, I level. Said, I said tabletop level. He has She's... dementia. Don't, don't listen to him. See, you know, one day I'll have dementia and then people will be like, uh, poor Henry, he can't remember anything. What is he going to do without his wife? And then you're going to have that big cheesy grin that you had on before. Oh, honey. Hey. No. <laughs> yeah, well. I would be very sad if you had dementia. No, no. So what now, do you think of these? I, feel, I feel like on the, priest, uh, on the priest, on the priest, it seems a bit... Uh, too harsh, like um, yeah. so, like a bit like it's straight black, or split right in the middle kind of thing. Like it could have been. Uh, I feel that the light, the shadow, should have come curving until this area. Here. So it it did originally. Yeah. But I felt with that, like I should, probably should have gone, not like kept it uh this dark here. But instead, have it much darker over here. Maybe, right? yeah. Cause but the that's light. because I was working with white, and white was it's very difficult. Now yeah. was the one color which I didn't start off with a uh, thinned out glaze or something. Mm, I, no. I always have difficulty with white, but I feel like the back came out a lot better than the front. Hmm. I think the black, sh the back should have been quite dark, if you ask me. Because the torch... yes, yeah, yeah, sure. But like I. I just feel like this this came out all a lot better than But I think as a game piece if it was following true OSL, right? It yeah. would kind of take away from it. Yeah. Cuz it would just be majority shadow and then you yeah. don't really see the colors pop. So I think it's you got to take some liberties there so yeah, it's yeah. not not necessarily bad. Yeah. But oh yes. Oh, you I, I put quite... the picture of Carrie here because that's what reminds me of poor Carrie with uh, what happens to her. And if somebody's complaining about Carrie being spoiled, you're spoiled. But yeah, I think this is the one where the OSL came out the best. Like, cause even like with the lipstick, there's like that hard cut between like the light, light and the, the dark. shadow. Yeah. And I think this was one of your better, better OSL effects in, in the yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. Cause like you can see the, the skin down here, but the minute that it goes past the uh, ankle the shadow, bone, yeah. you know, it's just like straight to shadow. Let there be light. Um, but also, I, I liked this guy's eyes the most of everyone. It was like, just like, what the hell is happening? He, he's like, no, 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 no. Wait, what's that? What's that I saw in the corner? Yeah, and like, that's... That, that does look like him, yeah, it does. Yeah. I would say that the OSL on him is the weakest because he seems it's, to be it's the, the most, most bright. Yeah. yeah, but he's also got the brightest of all of the torches. True, but so I... like he's like that's a car battery right there, right? That's not that's not like a like that's why I felt like she had like much stronger OSL because mm -hmm. like she's like oh I've got I brought a candle along mm. and he's the guy who's brought a torch and he's like the what. The did, what? Did I see that correct? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, he yes. came out really nice. Did, we yes. saw the, the kid's face. <laughs> yes. The kid's face, like, I'm, I said it originally. It's like, haha, I'm excited to die. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Look like, at him, he's freaking smiling. And just yeah, like, he's like, ha ha, adventure. Smile, smile before you die. You die, die. But you got the eyes down pat for this scale. Like, it was so yeah. tiny. These guys are but so, so I, I tiny. I felt like I managed to. Uh, oh, she get looks scared for her life, yeah. Yeah, I thought I managed to get the expressions pretty decent. And I for think these she, ones. she was but one like, of the... I like, see, I added my comments there. And like, I felt like these these are their various expressions. Like, she's wait also. Wait a minute. But yeah, her eyes are a bit sang it. Eh, I think at the when you look at the model on the tabletop, you don't even notice it. Yeah, but, but you know. I mean, like these are tabletop level, not character, but it is a bit sang it, and it's just who like Damud. Damud. The uh, but, Arabic uh, Irish. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think her OSL effect came out really nice too. Yeah, because like uh, once you go beyond that, and I, I guess because like when you go into the shadow, it just sort of just just changes so starkly mm. uh, i thought i got pretty... oh she, she i liked her too yeah i think the reason i really liked her is i liked her for the same reason that i liked the other college person because like i felt like i got the white so much more correct with her mm. but see she's meant to be the purple model right mm -hmm. and that's why i made her pants purple, purple yep um see and i feel like some of these like their the colors don't 100 percent correspond so for example he's the white character he's the green yeah yeah you got that the blue you the got blue. that but then this guy is the red one and it's oh, like, it was not 100 percent like red yeah like, but see like i've got uh, i've got to go off the cards and yeah, see you the cards that. do show like uh head and shoulders right but though Tell me those pants are anything other than, like, denim jeans. Oh, definitely. And, and especially, like, sort of the 70s thing. And, like, those are, like, the the college kid loafers, right? And, like... Them leather, leather, like that, pe good quality stuff back then, but yeah. Yeah, back then, but yes. All right, so... Let me have it, woman. What did I do well? I think you have approached the OSL effect really nicely. Colors came out very poppin'. And also, the, the models themselves has a large amount of character to them. Right? What did I do poorly? I would say mostly the priest. But then again, I cannot give you a hard time for that because we can't have it 100% in the shadow. It just ruins it. Yeah. at tabletop but um i think just like some of the times the light sourcing could have been improved in 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 how it was but like i said it's a bit difficult to say that because it's a game piece you want those colors to come through and especially with a white model it's just gonna be straight up black yeah and it's just like off gray and it just wouldn't look right so well like you said it's black here and it's actually just grace grace yeah sorry i did not mean to say yeah black. no 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 it's it's totally fair totally fair but so yeah you just think like the the priest is basically where i got let down mm. Ooh, we've this? reached the end and uh darmud has a some, light light uh, show and some random music in the ba -dam -ba -dam. here we go ba -dam -ba -dam. The sound is not coming through. No sound. We gotta add right. the electro music, Sunny. Gotta let the the There was a chew, oh. I heard it a chew. Do we get do we hear it? There's just scuffling in the background. No, I heard like when I listened to it on the headphones there was like some sort of rap music or something. Jesus. These up next. Let's uh, let's avoid let's that. Let's avoid that. Oh my God! What's happened? What has happened? Where has Dermot gone? No. Okay. He, he, he died. Uh, Back to most relevant yes. new posts. There we go. There we go. All fixed, everybody. Yep. <clears throat> oh, I gotta read. Clearly, it's still a work in progress, and definitely not for the gaming table. But the premise is sound. Due to two different power supplies and the sizes of them, I can only hide one of them within the base. So I'll be making an extra base for the current base. 
to reside on. This idea has been in my head for a while, so it's good to see it taking shape. Well, okay, so it looks like what you're doing is you're running a circuit into there, and you're doing that to have flashing lights. Rather than that, why don't you get some tea lights and uh, just some colored diodes? Like, that could really change it so that you could have multiple lights on the ground. So you can change the different colors? Yeah. Is that it? But more just so, like, it's like it's not going to be as color intense, I don't think, unless... Uh, but I've also seen those ones where you've got the, the strips and you can have a remote. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. um, rather than trying to hide like an on-off switch in there, right? You just use the remote for the on-off. Um, there's there's all sorts of options with that. I really like it conceptually, but like it does seem very big and clunky. Yeah. And like so, and like this is. It's like it's more based than model actually. Yeah. At this point, it is. At this point, it is. But. We have no idea how it's going to turn out. But with that, what we want to do is wish you luck, our dear Durmud. Well, good luck. Dear Mud. Dear Mud. And uh, we are uh, very tired, so we're going to say... Keep those brushes wet. See you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.